it's the good doctors of abby research with our good doctors diagnosed for wednesday april tw april 26th <gasps> oh bless. okay i said october on monday so you're fine <laughs> it is uh august 26th i'm dr aaron i'm dr Kristen. well i'm just checking that i'm dr aaron still oh covid brain uh, it is the 26th of August. It is also National Women's Equality Day. And if you've joined us at all on our social media in the last few weeks, you know we're spending a heck of a lot of time talking about women's history and women's suffrage. Um, so if that's not your jam, we'll see you in five or six weeks because we've got a lot more stuff coming. Um, but today celebrates the signing into law of the 19th Amendment, which did not give women the right to vote. It just said that we couldn't discriminate on the basis of sex, which ended up indirectly giving white women the vote, mostly. But the history we tell uh, in this country is that it gave women the right to vote. And so we celebrate the day that we didn't get equality with National Women's Equality Day. So a couple quick things. We would encourage you to tune into our coverage of the podcast and nothing less, which is unpacking suffrage history within the United States. We would also encourage you to find your local League of Women Voters. Make sure that you are registered. Make sure that you understand the laws of voting in your own state because, spoiler alert, voting is entirely controlled by states' rights. That's right. Um, in a really, really, really terrible decision that people continued to keep making in every amendment for some reason. Um, and understand that voting is a hard fought right. It is not inherent, it is not, I don't wanna use the language of privilege because then it, it means something different. This is our right and people fought hard for it. Mm -hmm. So regardless of your feelings on the political establishment, we would encourage you to vote. That's right. Um, there's also a website um, called Plan Your Vote which has been made to help people understand how they can vote during the pandemic. Um, and it's really handy to figure out uh, if you wanna do mail-in voting, what the regulations are when you need to apply, all of that, what the deadlines are, because as Dr. Kristen said, it is very state specific. So uh, this is a very important um, enfranchisement that we have fought for and we have won in whatever capacity <laughs> and through whatever series of amendments and laws. And we continue to fight for and we continue to make more accessible and make more um, people eligible to vote um, and that truly every citizen can have a voice in our political process. We are not there yet, but we're working on it. And we have to keep working on it. And the one way we can keep working on it for sure is by voting on November 3rd. So happy National Women's Equality Day. We have a long way to go, but we're here for the fight. And that is our Good Doctors Diagnose for today. We will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.